Saudi Arabia is an immensely conservative country. Why? Because its people are very conservative. And the people would often imagine, I think, that the rulers are holding it, it back in terms of reforms. Actually, it's quite the opposite. King Abdullah, despite his advanced years, was a reformer, and he pushed quite hard for the role of women. The push back against that was the religious conservatives who don't want to see them driving, who don't want to see them have any kind of public or political role. Now, the focus will be on King Salman bin Abdulaziz, his uh, brother or half-brother, and whether he will continue those reforms, I personally think is unlikely. He's fairly conservative himself. He was governor of Riyadh, a very important post, for quite some time. He's been crown prince and defense minister, very important roles. So the, the priority for Saudis now is going to be stability, continuing the way for as far as the Al Saud, the ruling family and the religious conservatives are concerned, they will want to resist any kind of violent change that they've seen in the so-called Arab Spring. Saudi Arabia is one of those countries that managed to resist the Arab Spring, which is Uh, It surprised a lot of people because it's probably the least democratic country in the entire Middle East. And yet, with the combination of billions of dollars of tight security, of allegiance to the ruling family, and particularly to King Abdullah, um, Saudi Arabia was able to, and, and also a number of arrests, they were able to resist the Arab Spring. They didn't like it. They issued a fatwa that well, they got the, the religious